Welcome to the Mayflower Society's Genealogy mini webinar, Getting Started. In this presentation, we'll help you on the journey to discovering whether you descend from a Mayflower passenger and are therefore eligible to join the Mayflower Society. 35 million people descend from a Mayflower passenger. Are you one of them? The Mayflower made its voyage across the Atlantic carrying 102 passengers and about 35 crew members, landing in Plymouth, New England in December of 1620. Many of those passengers died the first winter, but enough survived to create the first permanent English colony in the New World. Now, some 12 generations later, 35 million people are believed to descend from those Mayflower passengers, including an estimated 10 million in the U.S. To date, there are 51 Mayflower passengers with known descendants through whom one can claim direct lineage and eligibility to the Mayflower Society. Keep in mind, eligibility for the Mayflower Society requires direct bloodline descent, meaning an ancestor from whom you directly descend, not the brother or sister of an ancestor of a passenger who stayed on in the new colony. The 51 Mayflower passengers with known descendants are listed here and can be found at the mayflowersociety.org slash passenger hyphen profiles. Note that many of these are family groups. A word of caution about notices or offers you may receive once you venture into genealogy. No one can claim, based on your surname alone, that you are a Mayflower descendant. The process to prove your lineage takes time and often a considerable amount of research into vital records and other historical documents. Any person able to document their descent from one or more of the Mayflower passengers is eligible to apply for membership to the General Society of Mayflower Descendants. To begin, start with the lineage you know, you, your parents, your grandparents, and even your great-grandparents. Work to identify the line, and remember, the more you are able to document the connections, the stronger your application. If you need help researching your family lineage, there are a variety of sites that can help you find a qualified genealogist. Bear in mind that there are costs associated to most services. The Association of Professional Genealogists, APG, found at appgen.org, offers a useful overview of how to hire a professional genealogist as well as a listing of certified genealogists by state. If you are researching your own lineage, there are a variety of online sites where you can search for ancestors, related families, and reference documents. Some require a subscription, such as Ancestry.com or AmericanAncestors.org, and others are free, such as FamilySearch.org. Local libraries and historical societies can also be good resources. As you begin to gather information and expand your family tree, you may find it challenging to track the connections and details. Many of the online sites have trees and tools to help you build your family tree and link the documents you find. The Mayflower Society publishes a series of books called the Silver Books. 22 volumes cover the known genealogical details for most of the Mayflower passengers. The Silver Books cover Generations 1 through 5, and some also name the children of Generation 6. Many libraries carry the Silver Books. Individual volumes can be purchased from the GSMD website. Visit the MayflowerSociety.org and select Shop from the menu. Then select Books and Media from the pop-up window. Then select Mayflower Families Silver Books from the left-hand menu. And you should see the volumes of the silver books available for sale, including the pink books shown here, which are a phase just before silver book status. If you have a family member who is or was a member of the Mayflower Society, you may be able to use their approved application to help with your own research. You may also submit a Mayflower lineage match, known as an MLM form, through our website. This service will let you know how much of your proposed Mayflower lineage has already been verified by the Mayflower Society and for how many generations you will need to provide documentation. You can learn more about our Mayflower Lineage Match service by visiting the homepage of our website at themayflowersociety.org. As you start, know that your quest to discover your Mayflower roots may take time. Each generation offers you exponentially more ancestors. As illustrated here, by the time you get to eight or nine generations out, you're researching potentially thousands of ancestors. 
As you research your family lineage and begin to gather documentation to prove each generation, please know that the Mayflower Society, the gold standard in lineage societies, will require primary source documentation where available. These are sources that have immediate, first-hand accounts of a topic from people who had a direct connection with it. Such documents are required regardless of how many generations back you are proving. Vital records are the best starting point. When ordering vital records, make sure to order a long-form version of the record. These do not need to be certified documents. An informational genealogical copy or plain photocopy is just fine. One important note, an index record means that a vital record exists. You must obtain the vital record. Index records are not accepted. For ancestors whose life events happened prior to the creation of a vital record, a range of other documents may be helpful in proving your Mayflower line. These include church records, cemetery records, probate records, some Bible records, land records and deeds, guardianship and orphan court records, family letters, and military or pension records. Secondary source records may be used only when primary source materials are not available. Some examples of secondary sources include federal and state census records. Note federal census records prior to 1880 do not include family relationships. Newspaper marriage accounts and obituaries. Be sure to identify the source, the name, date, and page of the newspaper. Genealogical articles. Again, identify the source and the page number. Well-documented published family genealogies. Include a copy of the title page. Family genealogies are accepted on a case-by-case -case basis. County, town, and community histories. These two are accepted on a case-by-case -case basis. Photos of gravestones. Include the name of the cemetery and its location. If the stone says only father or mother, it cannot be accepted because there is no indication of the person's name. If the stone is illegible, it cannot be used. A single secondary source cannot prove the connection. If all that is available for a person or a generation is secondary sources, you may need a grouping of sources or an analysis to prove connections. As you gather documents, do not use a highlighter or red pen to indicate specific data on the record. Do not cross out details or make corrections on the documents. If you need to point out errors or comments about a document, please indicate those on a separate sheet. Keep your documents clean and as close to their original condition. Please do not staple your documents as this slows our review process and causes issues in scanning your documents. You can find more on sources by linking to the relevant videos on our website, and there are more to come. When you have sufficient documentation to prove your Mayflower lineage and are ready to join the General Society of Mayflower Descendants, you need to contact one of our member societies, typically one near where you live. The Mayflower Society is currently made up of 54 member societies representing all 50 states, the District of Columbia, Canada, Europe, and Australia. Member societies are volunteer organizations. Each member society has its own constitution and bylaws and elects its own officers. Additionally, member societies set their own dues and fees. Those applying to become a member of the Mayflower Society must apply for membership through a member society. The member society historian will guide you through the application process and prepare your application based on the documentation you provide. Contact information for each member society can be found on our website under the About Us tab then click Member Societies, which will direct you to a link to any of the 54 member societies. We here at the Mayflower Society appreciate your interest and wish you the best on the application process. While the process can take time and may sometimes feel daunting, we encourage you to stick with it and work with your member society historian to find the best records available. The Mayflower Society is committed to research on the lineal descent of the Mayflower Pilgrims and educating about the pilgrims who traveled aboard the Mayflower in 1620. The Society provides education and understanding of why the Mayflower Pilgrims were important, how they shaped Western civilization, and what their 1620 voyage means today and its impact on the world. Thank you for your interest. 
We look forward to receiving your completed application, adding your verified lineage to our knowledge of the Mayflower passengers. Members are a vital part of our process. We hope to welcome you as a future member.